How you doing, YouTube? This is Dave. I'm coming back at you with the first installment of our boxing fitness series. First thing we're going to do, we're going to work with our hands. I already got my hands wrapped. We'll go over wrapping hands in, the, in another segment because there's many different ways to wrap your hands for the specific things that you're doing. Uh, but right now, we want to get into a little bit of the fun parts of this, like everybody else wants to do. They want to they wanna punch something. So, being straightforward right now, we're just going to work with the upper body and the hands. We'll get the feet in a little bit later. So I'm kind of doing this backwards, you know. Uh, so, with the hands, first things first. When you get into your body position, you want to have your hands, elbows in to the side. See how that is right there? You can see how it looks from this side. You want to have it in there just so you can have your defenses able to move in different directions and still keep something up around your face. It's like you're rubbing your face. That's the perfect way to think about it. When you get to your arms in position, put them up like you're rubbing your face down and that's where you want them to be. That's where you want that defense set. You don't have to do this. You want them right here. You know? So kind of streamline with your body. It's right in front of your shoulders. Maybe I'm going a little bit too much in there, but that's where we're at. So when you're here, you want your hands, you get, if you're going with a certain stance, you want to keep at least the tops of your knuckles at your eyelids or at your eye level so that you'll still be able to see anything coming in or going out. If you have to go to the left side, you can dodge like this. So you can keep a hand up. You can still see over your knuckles and through your knuckles. Go to the other side. You can still see both sides. I think I guess you'd call it a version of the Philly cage. But that's just for defensive purposes. If you're just straight on, you want to have them somewhat up here, a little bit away from your face, and relaxed. Do not be tense when you're doing these exercises. You want to tense up when you're throwing the punch, or you want to tense up when, when you're blocking or moving, because you have to get the right body mechanics in order to block correctly. I know I've watched a lot of videos out there, and not a lot of people are talking about those certain muscle groups that go together in throwing a punch, or in blocking a punch, or even in moving or evading. So we're gonna get deeper into it, and you know, we're gonna get granular around here with it, all right? But now, when you're throwing that punch with your jab, or like I like to just use the numbers on your one, boom, you don't lift your elbow up and throw it. You're not throwing a rainbow, you know what I mean? You're not coming like that to throw a jab. And you're not even gonna do that with a hook. What you're gonna do is you're gonna spin from your shoulders. That's it. You're spinning your waist, or you're spinning your top torso area, which the part that you can see of me right now. My waist is a little bit down under here, but right here, this is how you twist it, in that ab area. You're just twisting the abs, and you're leaving the, the waist stationary because it has your leg and your base set already for when you get into your stance, which we'll get into a little bit later. But right now, all you're working is twisting and throwing that jab so it'll look like that. Boom, stretching it out there. That's all you're doing. You're basically just picking your hand up, putting it out there. The power's gonna come from that twist. And even off on the right hand. Boom, number two, boom, boom. Boom, boom, that's it. You put it out there, you're bringing it back. So think of your hips, or your, your, your size here as pockets. You wanna keep your elbows in your pockets. These are your gun holsters. You want the guns, put them in the holster. Put the guns out, we ready to attack something. Bam, bam. And it's just a twist of that torso. That's it. It's a little bit more on the right hand, or on your back hand, because I teach both sides, so even on the left.
and it's the backhand, the right. And always think about it as, <laughs> always think about it as like your thumb and your forefinger have a key in them. And it's your key to success, basically. And what you're doing when you're throwing it, you're just turning it, pulling it back out. Turning it in there, pulling it back out. Turning it in there, pulling it back out. And that's all you're doing with your first two punches, your one and two. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to getting our base correct with our feet and our hip area. Okay, we're back again. And what we're gonna do is show the twist from the hips, the hips here, and the abdomen here on how that punch is going, or how that punch is gonna go. And then we're gonna work down to getting into that stance. Now when you watch these videos, please watch it from the stance up. But either way it go, and either way you go, you're gonna meet in the middle, and the results are going to be astounding for you. Trust that. Now, once you get in your stance, as I was saying with that punch, and this is another kind of great exercise you can also do for waist training. Now here, I had to pull my shirt up here a little bit so don't get discouraged. Uh, right here, this is what I'm talking about when you're not moving your hips, but you're moving your abs. So you just twist it. That's all you're doing. You see how the shoulders are moving on their own, but my legs, and my hips barely moving. That's it. That's all it is. Boom. Boom. That's it. Now we're gonna move down to the legs and feet. You probably won't see my face, but I'm filming this by myself, so hey, work with me. Work with me. Okay, now we have the feet. As you can see, I'm about shoulder width apart on my feet. And what you wanna do is take your dominant leg or whichever leg you feel comfortable with holding and pushing your body around just to be comfortable because this is gonna be a different rhythm for a lot of different people. Some people don't have a lot of, they, they didn't do a lot of athletics. Some people are coming from, you know, having kids and not, not having uh, time to get out to the gym or actually, you know, get into a martial art or a fighting or a fighting type of workout. So these things might feel alien to you at first, but believe me, you will get the hang of it. So we're gonna take our back foot, we're gonna take it back about to the heel of our forward foot. But as you see, we still got enough space and it's about, a foot and maybe a quarter length from the other foot. And we keep them turning this way, forward, as we are walking. Now that's a great way to go ahead and get a beginner base. Your base is going to evolve as you evolve with the training that you're going to be receiving from either myself or another trainer. But these are things that are just going to get you into the basic realm of, of, of boxing fitness and boxing in general, even just even in the martial arts. These are, this is just a basic stance. So when you're in this stance, and we'll show up from the side, you wanna squat down just a little bit in it, just so you can stay flexible. You wanna be able to move back, forward, left, right, and be able to still walk around Come forward, it's just like dancing. It's just like dancing. You never wanna cross feet. You know, we're not doing no Muhammad Ali foot movements or anything, but you don't wanna cross feet. And you always wanna let that lead foot to whichever side you're going to lead you that way. As you see, if you go left, the left's going out first. The right follows. If you're going right, the right goes. You don't want to cross yourself. You don't want to overstep. You don't want to understep. But in the training, 
As the training goes on, as the training goes on, you'll get more comfortable with making these slight adjustments to how your body functions in the boxing fitness world. Because there's a lot of bo different body types out there and there's a lot of different uh, body sizes. But this type of training is for any and everyone, young and old. And there's, there's, some, there's a benefit for everyone out there to gain from this. Not only just as a self-defense, but the athleticism of boxing fitness. Because there's no other sport in the world that trains harder than a boxer. You have to train mind, body, and soul. Always thinking, always moving. So remember those when you get out there and you're going into your boxing fitness trainings or you're setting up to um, get into some type of martial arts or even any athleticism. I mean, baseball, golf, uh, football, any sport, soccer. They might run more than us, you know, but they only doing it for two hours. So a 12 round fight could take a long time because, you know, ain't nobody punching you in the face on the soccer field. Maybe in hockey, but you got ice out there. You just lay down and get those lumps taken care of right there. But hey, this is Dave with Area 5 Fitness. Have a good day. Stay blessed. Thank you.